Uh, so far, we have seen a backend, front end, and then we deployed everything into EC2. And today, this session, we'll be talking about how to convert microservices, how to convert the two different Flask up to microservices so that they are interconnected. So we're going to dockerize those stuff as well. So I'm going to copy paste some of the files, but I'll explain what's happening here, actually. So to speed up the process, just copy paste some of the files that we needed. Docker Compose, this Docker Compose, we don't need it. So probably just get it from my white repository. Yes, so for, uh, for connecting these uh, microservices, so we need to have a different folder called that. So we're gonna create a different folder called deployment. That one will have everything. So I'm gonna get some files from the deployments. Copy here. Let's face it, I'll explain what's happening. So version is 3.3 is a normal version. It's a boilerplate code, so just keep it. And then we need to create a network. So what network that we need to create, we'll be talking about that one soon. Maybe also we can just bring that readme file. Okay, so probably I'll just need to bring the readme file as well. But I'll, I'll explain these things. So we are creating some network, and then we say that uh, fmeter network, fmeter nothing but a, a friendship meter. And then we say external name is FMeter network. <clears throat> and then, so we do have two different services. So services under services, you can see front end, sorry, back end and front end. And then FME, we say FMeter MP, and then container name, FMeter API service build, the back end ports, volume environment, and all this stuff. So for container name, we just came come up with some API service. And then build, we say whatever we have it down. Um, so the build, it has to go to this. Get out of this deployment folder and then find the backend folder and then take it from there. And then usually the build will will find a Docker file. So it will go inside the backend, search for Docker file actually. So we need to have a Docker file inside. I'm gonna put it over there. <clears throat> and then so let's see where do have the Docker file? So yes, Docker file. I'm gonna copy and then put it in there. So let's see. So this ends uh, because of one, I'll keep five thousand one. Okay, sounds good. And it will say backend, backend, uh, blah blah blah. So what are the things in the backend? It will keep inside the app. And then environment. So we can just keep it. Uh, some kind of environment where I just want to keep it in back and port. Okay. So maybe just keep it port is 5003.1. Okay. I don't want this one. Instead of just a sort of typing mistake. So let's say F to that. Okay. So same thing goes here. Front end, I'm using UI service. Uh, it goes to the build of front end finding and front end. Port number is 5002. 5002 and then volumes front end uh, then environment it just goes to tickets <clears throat> so yeah it comes from that 5001 hmm. let's see whether i can apply like this but let's check this one later so i'm gonna say f meter network so both of these services should be in the same network then only it will interact with each other actually. So we can have API base, blah, 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 front end app, everything is fine. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna check the, so in the readme file, I'm saying deployment. So in order to get that, I need to get sudo docker network create F meter network. This is a network I need to create it, and then I need to verify, and then go to the deployment, run this file, docker compose. So tear down, we don't need to worry about right now, we'll worry about later. Okay, Docker file, I got this one. So front end, I do have a Docker file as well. So Docker two, probably two. So let's see whether it's, uh, it's, a, no, it's three. Okay, uh, I'll just keep it three then. So Docker file, I'm gonna keep it three. And then deployment, I'm gonna say three. See, maybe I'll just keep it. I'm gonna say this 
back and port, front and port. So this one, if we go to the front end, port that by, and then I'll get the environment variable. How do we get the environment variable? Probably I might have got it here. So environment variable, where is that? Another intrinsic meter. Okay, the plant. Yeah, no is dot environment. That's it. No is dot environment. That's the only one way you can get it. So I'm gonna say port us. This is front end, so I'm gonna get the port number. Port number. So whatever I have it here, yeah, I'm gonna use it here. So maybe I'm gonna say F meter, F, F meter, under port. I'm gonna use the same thing in here. Same thing, I'll apply these things into up the back and up the by. Okay. Front and back end. Double check whether it's the right one. Yes, it is. Back end. That's it. Pretty much good. So let's see how it works. So what should I do? Go to the readme and then I need to verify. I'll verify whether it's already there. So the network is already there. I'll verify here. Yeah. You don't need to do on MacBook, so I'm going to use simple talk. Nothing is there, so I may need to create it. Yeah, I created it. Let me verify one more time. Yeah, it's there. And then I'm going uh, so go to the parent. Then sudo docket build. So it's gonna take both of the services. So it's gonna be taken care of actually. So let's see what's going on. Yeah, of course, there are some issues here. So there is no requirements in backend. So I'm going to copy the requirements. Since the backend does not have requests, I'm going to comment it out. Let's see what's here there. Huh? F me to be failed to build. Where is it happening? Requirements. Where is the requirement? Where did I copy that? I already copied it into deployment. I need to put it into backend. Yeah, what's happening? Rip install requirements could not find requirement well. So no such production requirements. Where is that? Find in. No, the front end does not have a requirement. That's it. Yeah, back end looks requirement. So, yeah, sounds good. API service, everything's fine. So, let me check. 5001, it's a uh, UI, I need UI actually, so let's see. Now it's there, let me check whether it's running or not. Going here, submitting it. Of course it's throwing error, let's see what's the error. <clears throat> of course we didn't change the URL, so we didn't change the F-meter, so I need to go to the F-meet, uh, what is that, backend consumer, then here I didn't change it. So what I need to change it here, API base, I need to change like this. So API base, I need to put it into Docker Compose. Yeah, it's already here. Yeah. I'm already saying API services. Yes, fine, sounds good. So I need to use them. Okay, let's figure it out. Let's see, if you reload it, it should be working fine. It's already reloaded, back in consumer, let's see. 
Mm, what else? Let's see. It's working or not. There you go. That's it. Pretty much taken care of. So let's see. Whenever I do, I can see the logs and stuff. You can see the logs moving. So this is how we verify that. Okay. Pretty much we integrated everything. So we just need to commit in the right folder. So maybe I'll just commit in the right one. So I'm gonna say this one, microservices. And then I say git checkout iPhone B services. Done. Then I'm going to say it starts. Now I need to add all parts. So, modding all parts. Initiation done for all microservices. Push. So, I need to deploy always on the main branch. So, maybe I'll just go to that repository and come in on the main branch. So pull request to main branch. Main, yes. Dockerization for all services, yes. Merging it, merging it. That's it, pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna go inside. So connect to the machine. So this is why I connect to the machine. Done. Then CD by space. And then try the same. And then French media. And then get for in some of the main. I'm just getting it. So I'm gonna say so which command I need to run? Docker compose. So we do docker, but before that I need to create this one. Okay. Creating this one. Done. Verifying it. So this is on the server. Then I'm going to deployment. Then I'm going to build. That's it, so let's see. This is the IP and then I need to check for 5003. Perfect, so can check. Yeah, this is what are happening. So I can see it on the back inside, it's working fine. So this is how we deploy microservices on the EC2. So far we have done microservices on the EC2. So many topics are pending. Microservices are redeployed, so we need to deploy with the ECS manual, and then we need to deploy with the Circle CI. So those are the two things left. So we'll be covering into this in this next session. Thank you.